Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I am PJ, and today we break the spell. We've had a few dry months. It was summertime. It was hot, so I did not breed any rabbits for a couple of months. I gave them a long rest, gave the bucks a rest. Cooler weather came. I was feeling under the weather myself. And then I didn't get out here until about a month ago. Um, well, probably about six weeks ago. And the first couple of does that I tried to breed either didn't lift or they've skipped. But we finally have our first litter of the season. Let's go have a look. All right, here we go. This is a diamond's litter. And I bred her to cash. So let's have a look. It is, um, it's not a heavy rain right now, but it is misting. Uh, and so I'm trying to keep these guys warm and dry. Uh, but I had to bring them uh, out into the sunlight, what little bit of sunlight we have, uh, so that you could actually see them. So let's dig in here. I know we have babies because I can see fur. So let's, there they are. Let's dig in here and see exactly what we have. All right, so here we are. We have, does that look blue or does that look black? I think that's blue. When they're very first born, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between black and blue until the fur comes in. Here's number two. Um, that looks blue. Now, these are out of cash. So, I expect to see some black and blue. Here's number three. Again, that looks blue. It's number four. It looks blue. Well, there we go. Number five, a broken. Well, is that broken blue or broken black? It looks broken blue to me. Six. That looks blue. There's number seven. Good strong wigglers right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. There's seven. Um, to me, they all look blue and broken blue. The broken might be a little darker. It might. It could possibly be a broken black. I don't know. I guess we'll know in a few days. But they definitely look blue and broken blue to me. And that's a really nice size litter. Not too big. Plenty of kits to keep each other warm because we are expecting our first freeze tonight. Wouldn't you know it? I finally get my first um, litter of the season. And we're expecting our very first freeze for the season. So there we have it. We have Grand Champion Diamond. And we have Grand Champion Cash. And so we have a dual Grand Champion Litter. Uh, that's going to be fabulous. Uh, and, of course, we have grandparents in there that's Grand Champion also. So these guys are going to come with a really nice pedigree. we got a nice litter. Uh, six blue, one broken. Or uh, I think they're blue. We'll know for sure in a few days. A nice size litter. I, I like five to seven. Uh, seven, I think, is... Uh, pretty nice. Six, I think, is ideal. And five is it's nice, but I don't like smaller than five, especially in the winter time when they need uh, sitlins to stay warm. So seven, I think, is great. We don't have too many at the dinner table. Remember, we only have eight jugs of milk. And so seven with eight jugs, we're doing good. That's, a, in my opinion, a, a nice number for litter. So 
Um, so we'll watch these guys, see how they turn out. Uh, I do have two more doughs due, two more blue doughs. We've got um, Blue Moon. She's due today. And then we also have Purdy, uh, who is due today. They have not kindled yet, but we'll keep an eye on them. And we'll check back tomorrow, and I'll bring them to you as soon as I see them. Uh, thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless. Well, hello everyone. So, I owe you an apology. I did not um, get the previous video edited and released. Here it is two weeks later. And so, <laughs> we now have two week old babies. Uh, I'm hoping to edit the video this evening. And I thought while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and do an update. Uh, now we had some losses. We had seven. And once the fur came in, what we had was six or five black, one blue, and one broken black is what we had. Uh, and we lost some. Uh, when they were five days old, no, they must have been six days old. Mom had scratched a lot of this hay out. And I, I took a note, and I kind of questioned, you know, it's supposed to drop cold tonight. I wonder if I should put more hay in the box. And I talked myself out of it, said, no, Mom knows what she's doing. Leave her alone, and she'll take care of business. Well, uh, it did drop cold, and it dropped colder than I expected. Uh, I don't know what I thought, but it got down to like 4 degrees that night. And we lost uh, three of the kits that first night. Um, the second night, I did come out and I put more hay out here. But we had another kit that crawled out uh, and didn't make it back into the warm nest. So we've actually lost four of those kits. But what we have left are these three little black ones. And they have their eyes open now. Well, yeah, there it is. It's just black rabbit with black eyes so it's kind of hard to see uh, but this one right here is curious and he's got his eyes open trying to see what I'm doing look at this I'm gonna let him just explore <laughs> okay he was he's done so we'll pull that one out and that makes two uh oh where's our third one whoop uh oh we're missing one Uh-oh. We're missing our third one. Well. Are we buried down in the hay somewhere? Well, I hope it didn't jump out of the box and get too cold last night. I'm not finding it. Well, I better go explore the cage. Okay, there is only two in there, and we're supposed to have three. Well, I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back. All right, so we found the little booger, and he is very angry with me. <laughs> he, uh, he did jump out of the box, and he was on the wire with his mom, but he must have jumped out sometime today while it's warm, because... He's all nice and toasty. He's okay. But we're going to put him back in the box. And we're going to cover him up. And I'll check on him again tonight. Uh, when it starts to get dark. To make sure he stays in the box where he belongs. Because he won't make it on his own. Uh, it's not supposed to get drastically cold tonight. But I think it is supposed to drop down to like 28 or 29. And that's going to be cold enough. That if it's by itself... Uh, it'll freeze and so we'll check tonight and make sure he stays in the box where he belongs you may ask how do I get my steps in when I'm traveling well this is one of the ways 
uh, when I'm traveling every hour or hour and a half I'll pull over and you know stop at Walmart or some other company and I'll park let's turn around and I'll show you bright sun I'll park way out in the back parking lot and then I'll just walk and if it's cold like today I'll go inside and I'll take a little restroom break and you know you usually always need something either a tube of toothpaste or a, <laughs> a nail file or a bottle of water so I'll pick up whatever little item I need and then I'll just make a circle around the store takes about 10 minutes I go back to my van and then drive another hour or two and do it again by the time I get to my destination I usually have at least half my steps in for the day